So, how is a pointer understood by the compiler when it is used with arrays? We already know what is an array. An array is nothing but a sequence of elements of the same data type stored in continuous memory locations. So, the array name itself resembles a pointer. So, when we say character array 1 and we de define the size of the array, that itself refers to the first memory location that holds the first element. So, an array name itself is equivalent to a pointer or the address that points to the first element of the array. So, as I said when I say data type, array name and the size of the array, that name itself represents the first element of the array, the place where it is stored and array elements are always stored in continuous memory locations. The, so, this is how an array name itself is treated as a pointer in C. So, now we are going to see a program to copy the elements of one array into another using the concept of these pointers and the difference is that when I am copying the elements from one array to the next, I want it to be copied in the reverse order. Like I want the last element of the first array to be the first element of the second array. So, this is done very easily using the pointer concept. An array itself is treated as a pointer. So, we will see how by manipulating the addresses, we can easily reverse the elements of the array and store it in another location. So, as all programs, this also starts with the main function. I am having two arrays of type integer. Array 1 is the array which I want to be copied. So, this is array 1. I have already initialized the values of this array. It is in the descending order from 15 to 11 and this is the second array which is a duplicate one. I want these elements 15 to 11 to be copied into this array 2 in the reverse order that means from 11 to 15 and I have an integer i to access the index. Index is nothing but it refers to the position of an element in the array. So, we will see how this program proceeds. I am just printing original array in duplicate array and now I am having a for loop. In the for loop, I am using this integer variable which is nothing but to access the index of the array. I am checking the condition whether it is less than 5 because an array contains 5 elements according to my initialization and when it contains 5 elements, the index is from 0 to 4. So, I am checking whether it is less than 5 because 4 is less than 5 and each time the loop iterates, I am incrementing the value of this i by 1. This is to move to the next element of the array. And here I am opening this brace for the for loop. So, the scope that is the number of statements that are to be executed in the for loop is controlled by this opening brace. So, this is the most important step which copies the elements of the array. Now, during the first time the loop iterates the value of i is 0. So, the first element of the second array the value is given by array 1 plus 4 minus i. So, now how does this manipulate? This array 1 is the address of the first element of the first array. Plus 4 is, now say it is at position 2000 or 20. 20 plus 4 goes to the last element of the array. So, here in the first element of this duplicate array, I am copying the last element of the first array. Now, this is what I wanted. I want the elements to be arranged in the reverse order. That means, the first element of my duplicate ar array should be the last element of my first array. Now, this is how it goes in the output. 11 comes over here. How am I able to access it? By using this pointer. I am adding the addresses to the maximum and decrementing the previous value. So, during the first iteration, the value of i is 0. So, the first element of the array, the address where it is stored plus 4. That means, it goes to the last element, the last address minus 0. So, during the first iteration, the last element of array 1 becomes the first element of array 2 and I am printing it over here, array 1 of i and array 2 of i. During the next iteration, i becomes incremented by 1. So, now we move to the second element of the original array and this array 2 of i moves to this 12. So, what should be present in the second element of the duplicate array? What will be present? Array 1 plus 4. Now, this i now becomes 1. So, minus 1. So, if the values are stored from 20 to 24, I want what is stored at 24 to be stored in the first position, what is stored at 23 to be stored in the second position, 22 in the third, 
21 in the fourth and 20 in the fifth. This is how the values can be reversed. Now that is why I am adding this array 1 plus 4 and subtracting this minus i in every iteration. So array 1 is 20 plus 4 minus 1 that means 24 minus 1 23. So what is stored in 23 over here 12. So this 12 moves to the second position of the array and I am printing the values. Next iteration i becomes incremented to 2. So array 2 of 2 that means 0, 1 and 2. Next I am going to copy the element 2, the third element of the duplicate array. So what should be present in the third element coming from the reverse 13 should be present. So again 20 plus 4 minus 2 that means 24 minus 2, 22. So this 13 goes to this third position the values are displayed. Again i is incremented by 1. So now the value of i becomes from 0 to 1 to 2. Now the value of i becomes 3. So 20 plus 4 minus 3, 24 minus 3 it becomes 21. So whatever is there in the first position gets copied to this fourth position. And finally during the last iteration what is there in the first position gets copied to the last. So this is how by manipulating the addresses of the first array, accessing the value using the pointer, I am storing whatever was stored in the ordinary order in the reverse order in this second array. So when the array is displayed in each iteration, you can see the elements in the reverse order over here. So this is just a normal logic using pointers to reverse the elements of an array and not to make the changes visible in the original array but to copy it into a different array with a different name. This is how pointers are used with arrays.